Um, and I just wanted to explain, oh, I'm Sarah Brown, and I just wanted to explain a little bit of what the job at Caption Call is, how to apply, and the process of applying. Um, so the first thing is that there are part-time and full-time positions available. The part-time position starting pay is $11 an hour, and there's a minimum of 15 hours a week. And the cool part is, your schedule is a set schedule, so it doesn't change from week to week. You always know when you're going to work, and that way it's really easy to plan in advance for like vacations and things like that. And it's also easier to be able to request time off and things like that. So, um, something awesome too, the full-time position has really great benefits. So, that's a plus always. Um, okay. There's no experience necessary. There's no degree or certificate or anything like that required for the job. Um, you just have to be able to do it. So, um, oh, another thing, they are really willing to work with your school schedules. And if you have another job, maybe, then they can work around that because you pretty much set your own schedule. So that's a really neat thing. Um, between calls when you're at work, you get to work on homework or browse the internet, or, I mean, if you do really well on test calls, then you get to watch videos. So there's downtime as well during the day. Um, so how the job works, um, let's say there's a man named Bob, and he is hard of hearing. They're normally elderly people mostly, because um, they're not deaf, because deaf people would need sign language, so there is a sign language program, but this job that you're applying for is a communications assistant. So we're working with the hard of hearing. Let's say he has a caption call phone. Bob has a caption call phone, and it has a little computer screen on it um, that's meant for the captions or the subtitles. They're just like the subtitles on movies, except for they're meant for his phone calls. So Bob calls Mary, and I am sitting at the caption call center, and a call pops up on my screen. I have a little headset on. And all that I hear is Mary's side of the conversation. And there is a voice recognition system that I'm using that I speak. I repeat everything that Mary is saying word for word, and it types it up on my computer screen. And simultaneously, it types it up onto Bob's little caption call phone. So if he misses anything in the conversation or he just can't hear the speaker, then he can read it. Um, so that is basically the job. Um, and how to apply. I'm going to show you. So first of all, you go to captioncall.com. It should look like this. And you hover over careers and go down to communications assistant. This is the position that I just described to you. And the, um, you get to choose your city. So there's all of these different cities. I live in St. George, so I'm going to pick St. George. Then we'll go here to apply online. And because you probably haven't worked for Caption Call before, you're going to need to create a new account. OK, here is where you fill out all your information. You put your resume, um, all of that. And this part is super, super important down here because um, I am the employee that is referring you. So you will want to put Sarah Brown in this box. And you can say employee referral for that. When you're done filling all this out, you're going to you're going to click next. And I'm not sure if there's anything else on the next page, but it's I mean really self-explanatory. You can figure it out really easily. So as soon as you have submitted your resume, Probably within like a week or two, you'll get either a phone call or an email from a caption call employee. And they will want to set up a time for you to interview. So this is something that's a little bit different. Um, with caption call, you have to pass two tests before you can even get an interview. So I'm going to give you a little cheat here and tell you exactly what the tests are. Um, the first one is a typing test. So the exact website that we have you go to is typing test. Dot com. And right here it says start test. So it's a one minute test. It looks exactly like this. You can practice it a million times before you come in if you want to. You need to be able to type 40 words per minute. The test starts as soon as you start typing and it counts punctuation and capitalization, things like that. Um, and then it deducts your errors. So you need 40 words per minute. The second test is a voice test. So exactly what the job is, they're going to test you on. 
So um, I'm going to do a little demonstration of what is expected. Let's see. I'll do. I'm going to do news. This is kind of hard, um, but you're just going to turn on a news station. You can listen to talk radio in your car or on the computer like I'm going to show you and you just repeat everything that they say. So I'm going to try and demonstrate it and hopefully it will come out well on the video. And hopefully it's not too loud for us. Hmm. Okay, there's a little quick ad. I should have done this before. You don't have to dictate music when you're on live calls or anything. Okay, I'm going to stop this. Um, let's see if I can hurry and pull one up on my phone. Sorry this is taking so long. I know you love Carrie. We all love. I know Carrie. you love we Carrie. We all love Carrie, Lois but anymore, we can't call Lois Lane anymore uh, because it offends and, her. Period. You know, it and you know, it term. was an endearing no, term. Not, it wasn't the Lois, it wasn't Lane, the Lois Lane, Lane part. Like father, but anyway, like father, but anyway, the story today is that Copper Campaign, campaign, campaign is saying it's sexist to ask why his assistant and company came on this taxpayer-funded foreign trips. Anyways, his re-election campaign is for the questions about the taxpayer-funded travel. Okay, so that's kind of an example. I know it was like really short and hard to get to, <laughs> but listen to talk radio and repeat everything that you say, everything that they say. And I really, really highly encourage you to practice because you have to get a 95% accuracy in order to be able to pass the test. So um, that is basically all that you need to know. Be sure to use me as your reference and apply for Caption Call. We have tons of positions available right now and it's the perfect job for a student or a return missionary or really anyone. Um, you do have to pass a drug test right after you interview, so if you pass both of those tests, the typing test and the speech test, then they'll take you to an interview with the managers right after that and then if, you, if they think you're right for the job, then they will send you to get a drug test after that. So, um, hope you apply and use me as your reference. Thanks.